So we're going to be looking at what are those dots in mangas. So I started off by just sketching out my panel, doing an outline and doing a more refined outline. And then adding the final outline, like deciding where those lines really go and putting them down. Once I'd done that, I was kind of like, well, time to shade it in. And if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like, a share and a subscribe. It really helps the channel and it is appreciated so much. During my main character, I used the black lines to add the shading, but I saw these brushes on my um, options and I thought, I've seen these before, but where? I've seen them in every manga that I've ever read. And to be honest, like they actually make a lot of sense and they use differently. And I think it means that you can use it however you want. They originate from back in the day, like pop art even. These are the dots that you see, the different sizes, different shapes. But why? So it comes down to this money. Like if you think about it, you can use as much ink as you want. But if you could use less, then you lose less money. So back in the day, you use these sheets. And you can find these sheets and find out how to use them on YouTube. Yes. I did just say you could look at other videos on YouTube and promote it. It's a great place to find out why, but you can create some amazing like shading and things like that without using bold colors. And I think it's just a dope way of doing it. Doing it digitally is so easy too. You just go onto a website and start downloading the brushes like this. You upload them to your computer and then you just select them. Once you've done that, you can pretty much use them and you can download different sizes. And of course you can just change the clones. Then just start painting onto your canvas. I created this little world here and I really like this page. So let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks for watching.